Hello guys! Magandang umaga po sa lahat. And, Hi! Yes, and happy Thursday! So ngayong umaga medyo makulimlim po siya. So this is our fifth day sa ating usapan regarding sa relationship at marami pang mga uh, discussions na pag-uusapan natin. So ngayong araw na ito, ang magandang pag-uusapan natin ay yung relationship or yung four most vital relationship. So, yeah, napakahalagang pag-usapan ng relationship kasi nga this affects our life. No? Yes, yung whole perspective natin, mm-hmm. lahat-lahat po yan ay kinakailangan mm-hmm. ma-improve natin ang ating relationship para ma mas maganda tong taon na to. Kasi yun nga, sabi mo kanina, maapektuhan at the same time, yung growth natin ay nakadepende rin yung relationship natin. So ano yung mga bagay-bagay na yun? So apat siya, most, four most vital relationship. At yung pinakauna is our relationship with God. And second, our relationship with ourselves. Yes. So ang pangatlo ay ang ating relationship with our family. And the fourth, our relationship with our fellow men. Yes. So yung una, yung relationship with God, sabi nga ni Jesus Christ sa uh, John chapter 17 verse 3, this life is eternal that they might know thee, the only true God, Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Meaning to say, magkakaroon ng kabuluhan itong buhay natin dito sa mundo kung kilala natin ang ating Panginoon. When we talk about Heavenly Father, then we will come to know also more of our Savior Jesus Christ. Paano natin may improve ang ating relationship natin kay Heavenly Father and His and Jesus Christ? Of course, by praying and scripture study. Right? So, mas makikilala natin yung works, yung relationship, yung gawain ng Diyos sa mundong ito at most especially sa buhay natin. Okay. At dito po mapasok yung paano natin i-exercise yung faith natin. Yes. At yun yung pinakamahalaga, lalong-lalo na sa mga pinagdadaanan natin mm-hmm. every day, Whether ito ay good or bad, mas mahalaga na ma-improve natin yung faith natin, yung relationship natin mm-hmm. kay Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, ang brother daw ng faith is hope. Yes. So if we have this faith and hope, we have this eternal perspective na lahat ng mga pinagdadaanan natin or yung mga pagdadaanan pa natin, we can bear them yes. more uh, lightly. Or hindi naman lightly, but uh, we have this comfort and peace na everything will be alright because we have this faith. Yes, so with mm-hmm. God, nothing is impossible. So uh, it's really hard to to mm-hmm. achieve on, on what we want to achieve this year without the presence of God without the help of God. Yung second po is our relationship with ourselves. Yes. I really love yung sinabi ni um, President Harold Billy. Yes. Na you cannot leave another soul until you are standing on a higher ground than he is. Totoo nga naman yun. Because you cannot give something that you don't have or you cannot give something from an empty shelf. And dito rin pumapasok yung tinatawag na core belief natin sa sarili natin. Kasi ano nga ba tong core belief na to? Kung ano yung pinapaniwalaan natin and that becomes our reality. Diba? So, if we believe that we are worthy, we are enough. We're handsome. <laughs> we're good enough. Yeah, we're yeah. beautiful. It will affect yung personality natin, yung everyday na mga actions natin. If we yes. believe na ganito lang ako, ganyan lang ako, so yung mga negative. Then that will be a real- reality, di ba? Yes. Kung ganun yung pinapaniwalaan yes. mo. Sometimes, nagtataka tayo, bakit kaya ganito yung anak ko? Then really, we really need to examine. Ganun pala yung pakikitungo natin sa sarili natin. Kaya dapat, uh, positive yung outlook natin, yung inner core natin sa sarili natin. Yes. Kasi we cannot... Uh, share it into something ba? If we can share to everyone the positivity of life kung ikaw ay negative. No? Kaya we really need to take care of ourselves para sa ating mental health na, le- na rin. So kaya nga we advise everyone na please love to study learning. Okay? Kinakailangan natin na mahalin ang mag-aral, matuto, whether ito ay online, offline, going to school, basta at least give time sa pag-aaral. Meron po tayong 24 hours a day. 365 ng isang taon, di po ba? So, maglaan po tayo ng kahit isa, dalawa, tatlong oras 
to or improve enough ourselves. time para po sa sarili po natin. Yes. Let's try to improve ourselves. Self-care, mahalaga rin. Yes. Yeah. Self-care and uh, time to ponder. Yes. Meditate. Me time. Tinatawag yeah, ka me time. Yeah, me time. <laughs> Mga mamis, mga daddies, alam po namin, nakakapagod ang araw-araw, uh, lalo na sa work natin, please find time to relax. Hindi yung relax na nanonood lang ng TV, ah, o nagsisalphone, mm-hmm. yung relax talaga. Uh, maganap ng quiet place, o kaya naman punta ka sa garden mo, kaya naman yung quiet place talaga that you can uh, relax yung PC. Yes. Napakahalaga rin yung uh, tinatawag na affirmation yes yes so kung meron tayong affirmation that we recite in our minds every day it really helps kasi sometimes people around us define us diba or validate validate us sa kung paano nila gusto tayong i-validate or i-define so no matter what they tell about us kung very yung conviction natin about ourselves, we are who we are, what our purpose is, yes. meron so tayong always, direction, meaning sa buhay natin, everything will be alright. So always remember na don't allow other people to define you. Only God can define us. And it will really help kung meron kang magandang relationship sa sarili mo. Because yes. those without good relationship sa sarili nila, they can easily believe yung mga ibang tao, they can easily follow what is uh, the trend or, mm-hmm. yeah. So, if ever na uh, nahihirapan po tayo, maybe we can seek a medical help. Mm-hmm. Kung hindi na talaga natin kayang alagaan yung sarili or natin manage. or i-manage yung sarili natin. Or if natin. cannot function yes. normally. So, wag po tayong mahiya if we seek medical uh, mm-hmm. help. So, mas may mga professionals po kasi when it comes to taking care yung yung bagay na hindi na natin kayang uh, i-manage sa sarili natin. Alright? Mm. So, let's move yung uh, pangatlo, yung relationship with our family. So, napakahalaga po ito. Kasi nga po, mm. ano nga ba yung purpose? Bakit tayo gumigising? Bakit pa tayo nag-work? Uh, bakit ginagawa natin yung mga bagay-bagay na ito? And yung mm. family natin ang nagbibigay ng energy. Kung maga, bagay na sometimes hindi natin kaya, pero miraculously nagagawa natin because of our relationship with our family. But the question is, Paano kung yung family natin nagbibigay ng negative vibes sa atin? Sila yung nagiging problem natin. Yeah, na, na drag us down. Yes. Kaya nga, mas maganda na sa work nila ako, nasa school nila ako. Kasi pag nasa bahay ako, ganito. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ayaw, parang ganda. Ganun yung mga sinasabi natin. I feel like, feel like in hell pag nasa bahay ako. Na dapat hindi naman dapat, di ba? So I think we really need to examine yung sarili nga natin or evaluate. Ano ba yung daily routine na nangyayari sa bahay? Baka naman parating sigawan, pagigising pa lang, o kaya naman uh, in, in early morning ay nakatunga nga lang naman tayo or not helping nanay si tatay. So, we really need to evaluate and we really need to change. No? Sabi nga sa, sabi nga yung famous quotation, yung insanity, doing things over and over again, no? And we are resulting, ah, uh, we are uh, expecting a different result. result yeah. Diba? So, kinakailangan uh, pagising na nakatunga nga sa hindi na dapat ganun. Uh, so, para may improve yung relationship natin, kaya nga, ito ay pangatlo, kasi yung una kanina, yung pangalawa, yung, rela- yung una, relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, tapos sa family natin. So, ibig sabihin, it will follow yung mga yes. bagay-bagay na yan. I really love yung uh, quote ni uh, David O. McKay, yung sinabi niya na, no other success can compensate for failure in the home. Pero this was popularized by yes. James Edward McCulloch. So, kinakailangan na uh, ikaw natin, i-correct natin yan. Uh, na, naging popular lang po yung quotation na yun dahil po kay David O. McKay. Pero originally po, ang... Uh, James Edward. James, yeah, kilala po siyang J.E. McCulloch. So, isa po siyang sociologist. Mm-hmm. Alright? So, o nga naman, no? Mm-hmm. Um, kung nagkaroon ng problema ang isang family or yung family natin, lahat apektado po. No? Apektado. Whether kung, kung namatayan tayo o mahal sa buhay, iisip natin, sana naibigay ko na lang yung pagmamahal ko o naiparamdam ko yung pagmamahal ko. Sayang. Yung parang sayang lahat. So, so let's treasure our family relationship. Again, um, we can improve that by simple activities. Okay. Um, siguro once a week, hindi naman po mahirap yung mag-date kayo. Pumunta sa walking, pumunta sa park. Dito sa villages, merong magandang park. 
dito sa marapit sa library. O kaya naman, go go sa library. You don't need to spend a lot of money. No? Yung simple lang, pwede naman uh, magbaon ng, ng uh, yung nilutong pagkain, punta lang sa park. Spend more time kasi uh, napaka mahalaga po yung time. Time that is lost is already lost. Parang lost treasure na po ito. Kaya nga, uh, may, may bagong trend na naririnig kami ngayon. Yung totoong spelling daw ng love is T-I-M-E Time. No, spending time. Hindi lang spending time, pero quality and productive time. No. Pwede namang lazy, lazy time with the family as long as yung just enjoying yung time na yun together. Right? So, ang pangatlo, ay ang pang-apat, yung pinaka-last po na relationship ay? With our fellow men. With our fellow men. Sabi mo nga, no man is an island. Yes, so we are commanded by, by the Lord to love our fellow men, to love our neighbor. Paano po, sir, ma'am, brother, kung yung neighbor ko siya po ay Marites, ay Mario. Sila po yung naninira sa buhay po namin. Or stress. Or stress sa work. Then it's really hard. Mm-hmm. Hindi po madali. Hindi po talaga madali. I think, well, what we can suggest or advise talaga is to, to really pray mm-hmm. sa ating Panginoon to give us strength to forgive them. Mm-hmm. Hindi po madali po yan. And in, in, in time, as we continuously pray, siguro kung hindi man natin masabi, uh, let's change na yung sometimes yung ngumiti lang, o kung hindi naman yung just show a, a good aura or a good uh, tawag ito. When, when you are outside, at least pag nakita ka and kita nila na, oh, sh- napaka ganda ng emotions natin. I think it will reflect. It will uh, have a positive impact sa surroundings natin, lalo na lalo na sa mga kapitbahay natin. Though hindi yan applicable sa lahat, kasi may yes. mga tao na uh, they really find you toxic para sa kanila. For mm-hmm. example, you remind them of the things na they failed to do, ganyan. Kaya parang feeling nila, uh, they are, hindi naman si insecure, pero they're not just, uh, they just don't wanna see you minsan. Sometimes, you just have to avoid yung mga toxic na mga ganitong... Yes. May uh, mga narinig nga kami na mga friends namin. Anong goal mo this? Kaya we have a discussion sa, mga, sa maraming mga kaibigan, nakakausap namin kasi we love talking about goals, di ba? Sabi nila, isa sa mga goals ko <laughs> this year ay to stay away from toxic people. So kung ito ay nakakatulong sa, yeah. sa mental health natin. At baka makatulong rin sa mental health ng taong ayaw sa'yo. Yeah, then do it. Then do it. So, don't stop doing it. Then, do it. Kasi mas madali, if you stay away from, siguro by this year, probably next year, mas maganda na yung pakikitungo mo sa kanila. Kasi you were able to to find yung inner peace. Mm-hmm. Mahalaga kasi yung inner peace. Eh. Uh, Sometimes, you will really ask, bakit kaya wala naman akong ginagawang masama sa kanya? Bakit kaya ganun, di ba? So, we really cannot understand and answer those things. Baka may mga pinagdadaan lang siya or you remind them of something or trigger ka sa mga trauma na pinagdaan nila, ganyan. So, yes. Sabi nga, uh, there are things that we cannot really control. Mm-hmm. Just focus on the things that we can control. Mm-hmm. And that's yung sarili natin. And even that, yung include yan yung pag talaga on how we deal or yung relationship sa ating fellow man. Ibig sabihin, you are improving yung relationship with your fellow man pag hindi ka nag At kung yes. if you decide na layuan muna sila for this reason, then you are improving also yung relationship with them. And it's true that you cannot please everyone. May mga tao talaga na sadyang hindi masaya if, even if you're doing good or even if you are uh, doing your best. Kahit na yun pa yung goal mo. Kasi nga, yung pinag-aralan natin, yung pinag-usapan natin uh, last year, na maybe they have undergone sa trauma. Baka may mga trauma, they were abused, or yung uh, surroundings nila, yung environment nila, ay ganun yung araw-araw nilang nakikita. Or sometimes, hindi natin ma- maintindihan, meron talaga silang mga mental health issues na kinakailangan na ma- ma-heal. ma-heal. Through time. Yeah, through time. So again, so yun yung apat, 
the more the foremost vital relationship. Again, yung una ay relationship with God. Pangalawa, relationship, relationship with ourselves. Pangatlo, relationship with our family and, and last, relationship, relationship with, with our, our fellow, fellow men. So maraming salamat po sa napaka uh, fruitful na pag-uusap natin ngayong araw. I hope na you continuously uh, watch us, listen sa mga pag-uusap natin. We'll do our best na gawin to every day. Yes. Yeah, yun yung goal namin na uh, we'll do it every day. Kahit na busy, but we love doing this. Uh, this is also our record for our kids, for our generation. Actually, we've been watching yung uh, sa Netflix, yung sa Japanese, uh, yung they are uh, helping, teaching yung mga five-year-old mga mga bata to do some chores course. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, ginagawa nila yung work at that early, uh, very, 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 very young uh, age. So, nagkaroon ng record yun and then after 20 years, planay nila ulit. And they were able to see and be able to sabi ng isang buti na lang ba na may mga record na na it reminds of their of their mom kasi nga after 20 years patay na yung mom niya. Mm-hmm. So we we want this record para sa mga generations na namin, sa mga kids yeah, Basically, namin. we're doing this for our own record and for our children to for them to watch yes. this. Sometimes, time, di ba sayo mo? Sometimes, ano kaya yung tsura ni Mama ning ganito, right? Yeah, uh, Ako rin, ni sabi, ano kaya yung tsura ni Papa? Ano kaya yung tsura ni Papa nung 40 years old siya? Yeah, hindi, or, ko, hindi ko naman siya. No, 30 years old siya. Ganyan. So, right now, at least, yung mga future generations namin, yung mga magiging apo namin, they will, ah, si Lola, si Lola, ganun pala yung tsura nila when they were 40. Yes. Yeah. So, it's already good kung may mga... Yeah, I, I hope na uh, you were able to yes. touch your hearts. Again, we are not perfect. We are doing our... our our best every day. We are far. Very yeah, far we're, from we're very far from perfect. Marami kaming mga dapat i-improve sa limang aspeto ng, ng buhay namin. And we are, we're, we're, one thing na nakakatulong sa amin is to really have discussion online, this uh, presentation. And if you have, if you have suggestions, and if you like also yung mga videos na to, then you can share it to your to your friends also. No? Mm-hmm. So again, maraming salamat po for today. See you again tomorrow. tomorrow right? So, bye!